Hello, BookTube. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. So this is going to be a fun tag. This is the bookish A to Z hot or not tag. This tag was created by Greg over at Another Bibliophile Reads, and I will leave a link to his channel and his original tag down below. He tagged me in his original tag, so thank you so much, Greg, for that. What is the A to Z hot or not tag? This is 26 prompts sorted in alphabetical order. Uh, so each letter of the alphabet represents one prompt. And you are to give simply a hot or not response with a brief afterwards describing why it's hot or not for you. So this is going to be fun. Uh, I've gone through a little couple of these uh, just before this video and I'm like, oh my goodness, I got a lot of knots in there. But we're going to do it together. So let's get started. A. Audiobooks. Not. I just can't get into audiobooks. I don't know what it is. Uh, I, I just can't stay focused when I'm listening to an audiobook. B. Bildens Roman. <laughs> Dealing with a person's formative years or spiritual education. I'm going to have to say not. I'm not a big uh, reader of that kind of works. Uh, just not something that I'm into. C. Children's books. Not. Alas, no, I'm not into children's books. D. Digital. Hot. I love digital print. I love my e-books, um, my e-reader, and just having an entire library in the palm of my hand where I can take it anywhere. And more, most importantly, where I can increase the font size. As I get older, I need to increase the font size. E. Experimental. I'm going to go with not for this one. This is a gut feeling. I don't know a lot of experimental writing. I've heard of House of Leaves where it's structured very weirdly, differently, if it's a better word, differently. And uh, I don't think I would be a fan of that, so I'm going to go with not. F. Fantasy. Oh, I am so sorry. We're going to go with not on this one as well. I have read some fantasy last year. And uh, it was okay. It's just not a genre that I gravitate towards. I am mostly a nonfiction, science fiction, comedy, and um, you know, contemporary or sometimes horror kind of guy. G graphic novel. Again, not. I'm just I'm not into graphic novels. I I don't know why. I again I don't gravitate towards them. Um, I did uh, toy with the idea of collecting old school comic books, the old Spider-Mans that I used to uh, read when I was a kid. and uh, But not to read them. Uh, I had a friend who uh, collected some comic books and uh, he put them in uh, uh, picture frames and framed them. And I thought that that was a great idea and I thought that would be something that I would want to do because really it's more for the nostalgia than anything else for me. But yeah, not for graphic novels. H. Horror. Hot. I do enjoy a supernatural horror, a haunted house setting. I am not into uh, realistic horror. So real life horror books, not for me, but uh, or horror books that are too close to home, that are too believable, not for me. But the supernatural stuff I do enjoy. I, inspirational. Uh, it depends on the context. So if it's a self-help book, I'm going to say not. Uh, if it's a book where you just get a good feeling inside of you, uh, it's a person's journey to find out about maybe themselves or to discover something that they didn't know. For example, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, where the author, whose name I can't remember, uh, Henrietta's daughter, uh, who also took part in the journey, helped this, the author find out more about the life of Henrietta Lacks. And it was, it was a wonderful journey of discovery, a wonderful journey of friendship, and very inspiring. For those that don't know, Henrietta, Henrietta Lacks was a black woman in the 1930s, 1950s, I believe, who had cervical cancer. And her cancer cells were collected and analyzed, and it turned out that those cells can reproduce very quickly and do not die very quickly. 
and uh, they revolutionized the biochemical industry, biomedical industry. Unfortunately, Henrietta's family never saw any money from that. And it was a heartwarming, inspirational, and just an all around good story of good journalism, find, getting deep down into the history of someone's life and having their daughter come along for the journey and discovering more about her mother. It was, it was a wonderful read. If you ever get a chance, I would recommend The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. Oh, Jay, journalism. Okay, so if it's like The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, where an author who is a journalist, it's a journalist style of writing, uh, where they investigate, it's an investigative report, and they uh, write a book on that, then definitely hot for me. Uh, I don't see if it's just a... I don't see how else it could be other than journalism like that. So we'll stick with hot for that one. Okay, kitsch has a popular or sentimental appeal. Not? Uh, if it's The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, hot, because that has a sentimental appeal to me. I laughed so hard when I first read that that uh, I always go back to that for a smile. If it's a popular book, like what's popular right now, then it would be a not for me uh, because I don't follow the popular trends. Um, I I don't care if an author comes out with their latest release or if, you know, the latest in nonfiction is out there. I, I'm perfectly happy waiting. I have enough books unread that I can wait. L. Library. Oh, I'm going to have to say not. Why? Because I've only used the library once in the last year and a half and that was to uh, borrow an audiobook which did not pan out well for me. I wish I used the library more often but alas uh, if if my past is any is any uh, indication of my future chances are I don't and won't use the library as much as I should. M is for mystery. This one is a hot. I really do enjoy a good mystery. My favorite author is Agatha Christie. Um, I don't really know of any other mystery authors that I've read, but she is a wonderful author that really throws you for a loop. You think you have it solved and you don't. So we're going to stick with hot for that one. N, nonfiction. Hot, hot, hot. I love me a good nonfiction. It's, it's my go-to genre. It's what I read and what I enjoy. Oh, omnibus. It depends on the context. Omnibus as a digital read, not. Omnibus as a print read, hot. So I have um, the classic science fiction omnibus over there on my bookshelf. It's a print book. And it's got, I don't know how many short stories of science fiction, um, classical science fiction. I love that book. It was a great read. I didn't read all of the stories, but all of the stories that I did read, the majority of them were really good. I also have the Jules Verne Omnibus on my e-reader. And that, because it has so many pages in it, it makes my e-reader crawl. And that is no fun. So that is a double-sided question. Sorry, Greg, these were supposed to be only one answers, but this one is going to be hot if it's print, not if it's digital. Okay, P, poetry. Not... I've tried, I've tried reading poetry. It's just not something that I'm into. When I hear others read poetry, um, it's very good. I enjoy it, especially when the poetry has meaning to it. Um, we recently uh, heard the poem in Flanders Fields in, uh, in honor of Me Remembrance Day, and it is such a powerful poem. Poems like that really make you want to read poetry and to to just experience the meaning behind the poem. But in general, I don't read a lot of poetry, so this is gonna to have to be a not. Q, quests. When a protagonist goes on a quest, uh, physical or spiritual. <sighs> not. I don't read a lot of books where the person goes, well, a lot of fiction books where the person goes on a quest. If it's, if it's a nonfiction going on a quest like an expedition, we would go with hot. You know what? Let me change my answer. Hot. Quest books are hot. Nonfiction reads where 
It is an explorer exploring the Arctic or traveling into the Amazon or through up, not up the, yeah, up the Nile River to find the source. Definitely some hot reads. R, romance. Not. I don't think I have to say anything more about that. I am not into romance reads. S, science fiction. Hot. I do love science fiction, not as much as nonfiction, but I do love reading science fiction. I really enjoy Book Trek. So for those that don't know, Book Trek is an annual event where we read Star Trek novels. And surprisingly, the ones that I have chosen so far are very good. So I'm going to have to stick with Hot for that one. T, translation. Books translated from one language into another. Uh, have I read? Yes, I have. Journey to the Center of the Earth was originally a French uh, novel that was translated into English by Jules Verne. Wonderful read. One of my more favorite stories. So I will definitely be going hot for translation. Oh, wow. You, Ubermensch. The Superman or the Extraordinary Human. Characters who can do anything and everything. I'm going to have to go with not for that one. It's not believable. No one can do everything. There's always a team or guidance involved in trying to do something. And to have one character do everything is, you know, like reading some of the books that I used to read as a teenager. Um, what was it called? The, the protagonist's name was Kiel Randor. I can't remember the title of the book. But basically... Uh, his world was destroyed and he had to go out there and find out who destroyed them and take revenge. And he did it all himself. When I was 14, that was a great read. Now that I'm older, that is not something that I would want to read. So that's a not there. V, Victorian, literature from 1837 to 1901. For this one, I'm going to go with hot. I've read a number of Victorian novels and I have enjoyed all of them. So definitely hot there. W, Western, not. Oh, so sorry. I've tried. I tried reading some Westerns. They're just not for me. X, X-rated, not. This is a family channel, so we don't read X-rated books. And I would, I would laugh to see my wife's expression if I brought any of those home. So no, it's not something that I like. It's not something that I read. It's not something that I would gravitate towards. So that would be a not. Why young adult? Again, not. Not for me. I've passed the young adult stage. I am more into nonfiction and books that are not young. I don't even know what young adult is, to be honest with you. It's it's novels about young adults. I don't know, but not. And the final one, Zed. Zeitgeist. Zeitgeist. I need to learn German. Zeitgeist. Spirit or mood of the times. Not. Um, we live in a world where um, public opinion sways um, what's good and bad. And things in history, it's been crazy throughout history. And, you know, for a spirit or mood of the times, it's a good historical read to learn about different cultures, past cultures, and how they saw the world. But not for me. It's not something that I would want to read for contemporary times. Anyways, that is the hot or not tag. This was a fun tag. Thank you so much, Greg, for coming up with these amazing prompts and for tagging me in this video. I'm going to tag four amazing booktubers and I do hope that they're able to do this tag. And they are Cat at Cat's Novels Adventures. And I will leave a link to all of these channels down below. Please take the time to check their channels out. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and support their channels. I'm also going to tag Al at Big Al Does Booktube. I'm going to tag Margaret and Margaret Pennard. So Margaret Pennard, for those that don't know, is a self-published historical fiction author and also a booktuber. Go check her channel out. She's awesome. And finally, I'm going to tag Patrick at Patrick Ryan's Books Review or Book Reviews. He's another great booktuber that does a lot of great stuff. 
So that is the tag. Let me know down in the comments below some of your answers to some of the prompts. And if this is something that you'd like to do, consider yourself tagged as well. I'd love to hear your answers. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred.